88 Films. Let's go. Another week, another dollar. How y'all doing today? Pretty good. Yeah. Tired. Long weekend? Not really. I didn't really do much. <laughs> Went to the World Series. Yeah. That's something big. Anyone was football game after? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I went to UC after. <laughs> Bro, that's a that's a that's a good weekend. That was solid. That was just yeah, that was just. Friday. I didn't do anything Saturday. I didn't I didn't get my tickets to the Dodger game, so I didn't go. So you had to sleep, huh? No, <laughs> I was trying to get Rob to go out, but he didn't want to go out with me. That's crazy. It's fun. Yeah, hey, man. I needed you. I wanted to see if the myth was true. Yeah, the streets be talking about you, bro. Robin they said action? 2016 Rob was a menace. <laughs> it's eight years ago. Need to bring him back. Out of retirement. What you doing with Nelson this weekend? Uh, well, I went to the, the Dodgers game that Friday. Like, last minute, I was just like, you know what? I'm in town. Why not go to the game? Um, Saturday, just chilled around. You were out on you were out Saturday. <laughs> I was out Saturday. But it wasn't crazy. I haven't, have a, haven't, 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 I usually when I'm when I'm when I'm when 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 like I'm out here like it's like a crazy time. It's been like a it's calm. Well, it's because when you come around this time we have a party and this year we didn't. Pain. You know, we yeah. kept it calm too. Yeah. But overall, not bad. I'm I'm actually glad I went to the game on Friday and not on Saturday because Saturday was a horrible game for Yankees. <laughs> I mean, they were both horrible if they, they lost. Yeah, but, but like it was a better experience the first game because it weren't like OT, you know. It's like a second, it went to like an extra, um, extra inning, so that so made it more worth the money. So this comes out, are we getting a game seven or are we, or is it over? Hey, man, I hope so, bro. <laughs> what? I'm what hoping Yankees that? win, bro. I'm hoping they win today. So you're saying that when, we're watch- when people are watching this right now, we're going to get a game seven? Or the Yankees win in six, or the Dodgers win in six. Because this comes out on Saturday, and game six in L.A. is Saturday, is Friday night. So are no we getting shit. a game seven the next day, or today, or what do It's you hard because if they win tonight and then uh-huh. Tuesday, there's is, is a chance that it might be even, like, even time. And then what do you, what would go. happen if the Yankees win four straight? <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm <laughs> lit. <laughs> I think the series is over. <laughs> Ah oh, man, here we go. By the time you guys are watching this, I mean, it's it's all it's all a mixture, but like the majority is like you know Yankees. You Low know, key, not to, no, no disrespect. I feel like it's like Angels, um, Dodgers, like as in like the Mets fans. I don't see when yeah, well, yeah. I lived in Manhattan my whole life when I was out there, and I obviously saw a ton of Yankee fans. The only I only knew a couple. For every Mets fan I knew, I knew like twenty do- uh, Yankee fans. Yeah. Lucky you see more like Yankee fans out here than you see Angel the fans. The stadium, I'm really? not gonna lie. Yeah. The stadium was like 60-40, 60 oh, Dodger, shit. forty Yankees fans. Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was a pretty even split. Yeah. So it was nice. Um, somebody DM me and saying like, "Damn, you could have had your ticket could have gone to a real Dodger fan," and I'm like, "Sorry, buddy." <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was, I was like, "Sorry, buddy." I was like, hey, bro, you paid. Yeah, you I was just like, hey, I paid to play. <laughs> it was fun. The, the jet, I just went for the Jets, bro. Good thing I didn't go game two because Damn. the Jets flew over game one only. Oh, yeah, they had Ice Cube for game yeah, two. Yeah, right? they, 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 Ice Cube. <laughs> the best part of the uh, Ice Cube was uh, Verdugo, the Yankee. Oh, when the game like, was over. Like vibing to Ice Cube, and he's like uh, dissing the Yankees, but he's just like enjoying the moment. That was cool. Yeah. That was a crazy game. I was at the bar with Man Dodger fans, and then... It was like probably like four people that were like fans of like of like the Yankees, and then it was just like one like white dude, and then he, and then he was like, "Yo, fuck your Yankee fans over there," and I was just like, "All right, bro, like relax, bro, relax." <laughs> yeah, it's always like that. Not that like, serious, a, a, but relax. Every every game, I feel like anywhere you go, there's always that one guy that just takes it too much, and yeah, I'm just he was like, well, it's not it. that serious, bro. <laughs> um, it happens all the time. Like it's like I'm like, all right, bro. It's, it's not, just a game. It's just a game, you know. It's entertainment, you know. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but I, I, I think the Dodgers are winning. I, I've said it before. They're too good. Yeah, they're too good. And I don't know. The Yankees need like a good charge in their back because they don't look like. I they, feel like they, they wasted a good. Uh, the Dodgers did on Game Two what the yeah. Yankees should have done Game One. Game One, Garrett Cole pitched a really good game, yeah. and they the Yankees just bottled it. Um, and in Game Two, Yamamoto pitched a really good game. Yeah, he's- like Smoked he literally only allowed the fucking Soto home run, Fuck. and 
they, the, the Dodgers obviously closed it out. Like, they, they didn't waste a good pitching performance because I've been saying that, that you don't really have too many crazy, like, pitching performances like you did back in the day. Like, back in the day, like, when you put in your closer, it was over. Like, for the 90% chance, when you put in that closer, you're mm-hmm. like, oh, it's a wrap. We got this. Like, it, yeah. it'd be a shocker if that closer could, couldn't close it out. Or when you were starting your, like, ace, you're like, I'll dub today. Like, you know, like, you always knew, like, all right, this pitcher's going to get it done. And I feel like for the first two games, the pitchers got it done, but just the, obviously the Dodgers toughed it out and got game one, and then game two. Grand slam. Yeah. yeah. That was the same. It started going on. <laughs> Bro, I shit you not, Rafi wanted to leave the game. You wanted to leave So we were at game were one. On no, we were in the stands. All right, so game, Hell it's game no. one. Um, it's a really good game, bro. Like the intensity of that game was like it was good, bro. Just being there live, I like see like the Dodgers. Uh, I think it was a triple, a Shohei triple that <coughs> ran him in after, um, um, and then the Stanton home run, and then two two, and then three two. So at three two in extra innings, um, Rafi's like, "Let's go, let's beat traffic." And I was like, "What traffic?" I literally told him like that, like, "What traffic?" He's like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "We walked." <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no fucking traffic. That's true. So we, st- we obviously stayed. And then and then once they walked Freddie, I told him, like, bro, it's over. Like, the Dodgers are going to walk off. Like, it's a- it's in the script, you know? Like, it's literally, they're going to walk off. And I-, I didn't even say Grand Slam, but I was like, it's over, bro. Like, there's no fucking way. And then Rafi's like, all right, I'm going to go live. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went live, bro. And all I see is, like, he hits it, and then when at the angle that we were sitting, you could kind of see the balls that are going to drop where this one's gone. And then this one just kept rising and rising and rising, and I was just like, yeah, shit's gone. Shit. And when it hit, like, literally, bro, you could see in Rafi's video, I was on, I was, he, it's on his thing, so you could get it and throw it. There's somebody, throw, everybody throws their beers, and then I'm just there, like, in shock. Like, it wasn't in shock, like, damn, the Yankees lost because I don't give a fuck. But it was more like, <laughs> god damn, like, we saw that. Like, that was crazy. Like. That was insane. Yeah, that's a crazy way to end the game. And it was the first time it's ever happened, right? In, yeah, uh, yeah. It World was the first Grand Slam World Series, Freddie Freeman. History, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, I can't even complain. Like, it was a really good game. I was like, my honestly, like, my head was down, but I was like, damn. Yeah, going to sports wild. games as a neutral is nice because you just don't care. You don't yeah. care. You just want a good You're game. You're just there you know? for the vibes. Really? Like, yeah, like, I've been saying that about the NBA because for the NBA, I don't really care no more about, like, teams or anything. But I go as a neutral, and NBA just doesn't do it for me. Like it's not like oh sick, but this one, like the intensity from the fir- from the fucking jets flying over to obviously the Freddie Freeman home run, I was like fuck, this is a good like I literally was just like damn, I don't regret spending the money for this at all. Fire. But going as a f- actual fan of a team and your team losing, shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never that deep. I'm just like oh we lost, fuck, yeah. move on, you know. And then people start trolling me, oh your team lost, I'm like it's alright, bro. It's not that, but yeah. And then football this weekend. Uh, football was good. Jaden Daniels, bro. Bro, that was a crazy ass fucking. Hey, you, you're two for two. What do you mean? You're two for two on your quarterbacks. Last year, you were the only person that, that I personally knew that was ga- gassing C.J. Stroud from day one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you were like, yo, this he's gonna be the truth. Blah blah blah. You're like Bryce Young, nah. Blah blah blah. And then this year, Jaden Daniels. You're like, yo, Jaden Daniels, he's the truth. Blah blah blah. I mean, you get, it's, it's like a crapshoot, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two, two for two. Yeah. <laughs> you stole him in the draft. <laughs> Still funny. Bro. But, yeah, that was crazy. I was watching the whole game, too, and everybody was like, why are you watching the Bears' um, um, Washington one. game? And I'm like, one and two. Well, it's one and two. And then also um, Hudson had fucking a ton of uh, Bears players going, and I was playing him in fantasy. So I'm like, these fools better not do shit. So I was watching for them not to do anything. Um, no, they didn't. Nah, they didn't. Fucking this fool had a terrible game. Yeah, Caleb, Caleb Williams. Caleb was dog shit. Caleb had, Caleb yeah. had like thirteen fantasy points. Yeah, and the, and I was hyped because they ran it in with uh, Johnson. Um, it wasn't Swift. It was Johnson. They ran it in with him, and I was like, yeah, "Let's go!" Like I didn't care who won, but I was like, as long as Caleb didn't run it in or throw a touchdown, I was hyped. <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh, it's over." <laughs> I thought it was over, Same. but still, yeah. right there, I'm not. It's a Sunday, so I'm not doing shit. I'm not moving out of my couch. And Jaden Daniels didn't look too great, uh, like, getting down the field. But then he did that small check down out of bounds, and there was two seconds left. And same thing. I was like, there's no fucking way. Oh, and then yeah. this fool ran back. I don't know if you saw. He runs back past the 30, and then he runs up the 30. And I'm like, bro, this was making this pass harder. And he, like, 
bounced into it and then just fucking launched it. You seen that interview that was going on while the throw was fucking happening where the dude was just like, oh, I have a feeling they're going to win, but like whatever. And then it, they fucking have the live reaction and they're like, I told y'all. They fucking won. <laughs> and, see, yeah. and everybody went crazy. See like, that? What the fuck? I think to me, I always say like the NFL is the best American league like out of sports because yeah. it's just like bro it's so good like it's even such a watching, wild card even uh i was before that i um i was also tuned into the raiders chiefs game and that yeah. game was good like it was physical it wasn't a, really a blowout the raiders suck but they fucking um they play the chiefs tough i was just i was like tuned in but yeah the, i think the nfl is like my favorite american league no it's been a lot of good games lately yeah hopefully but yeah um, back to shoes. What came out this weekend? <laughs> uh, this weekend, what did we have? We had those uh, Walls Bonders that we got to, to the paint for. Bro, oh my God, <laughs> fuck that shoe. <laughs> Bro, that was crazy. So they're nice, you know, I but I don't know anything. Um, so we get the call like, yo, you guys want Walls Bonners for personals or <laughs> blah, say, blah, whatever. It's nothing crazy. And I'm like, yeah, you know, in my head, I'm like 150 plus tax, 180. I was like, let me get a set. It's two pairs. Typical Samba. It's typical Samba. I'm like, anyway. Yeah. Right. Whatever. <laughs> Homie sends me the link to pay six eighty or some shit. Like that. <laughs> I was just like, what? Yeah, and I was I just like, all right, I signed up. And then I like thought about it. And I was like, bro, these shits were three hundred retail. Yeah, that yeah, was crazy. Pricey shoes, honestly. Yeah, but I already my homie already did all the work, set them aside, you know, sent me the link, did everything. So I'm just like, I'm not gonna tell him, nah, bro, I'm good. Yeah, it shows funny because Willie went to go pick up a pair and he was thinking the same thing, and he said he couldn't crap out because there was like a bunch of shorties around him when he was about to pay. So he fucking was like, bro, I gotta bite the bullet. I can't look like in front of the girls. That's happened to me, to me <laughs> before, so I get it. Yeah. yeah but yeah, so 300 retail for them Wales, Wales Bonners. Yeah. Um, I I I thought I was gonna re like bring them into the shop and sell them but now i'm just like bro these shit's retail i'm gonna lose money on this you gotta wait a bit see if yeah you go gotta off. wait a little bit with wells bonner sneakers you always gotta wait a couple months they disappear and then they start hitting yeah. it ha it, huh okay. i wouldn't nah it's like it's a thing too where it's like bro like this fool hits us up like you, but, you but also not even that it's just like they're, i'm gonna get my money back like yeah it'll be fine it'll be fine just wait a little bit no big deal same thing they i i I ended up picking up a pair of those fucking X-ray Kobe's. They were just there, and I was just like, oh, they're they're there, you know. I was just like, ah, oh, fuck it. I got my size, but then I was just like, should I wear them? Should I hoop in them? But it's not that serious. I'll probably bring them in, you know. But same thing, they were just there, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, it's a fun shoe, but it's weird. I was tripped out about those uh those dunk those dunks with the nasty like skeleton in the front of them because people was actually like buying them. I hate that shoe. It it's not. Crazy. I don't. I don't. I don't hate it. I just don't like it. The skeletons are just the, like the ones that have the skeleton on the toe. It's like a skeleton plastic on yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Like a toe cap. Well, I'll send you a picture. But yeah. yeah I, I. I didn't really like it. It was. I guess Nike's Halloween shoe. Yeah. Um, it's very underwhelming. Yeah. Speaking of underwhelming, John Day Six. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. She wants them. She wants them. Yeah. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I think this is the worst pair. Of, like, any of the stuff. The Solomons were kind of bad, too. Which one? Yeah, the Solomons yeah. were pretty The all-white with the yeah. little blue. Hit. Yeah, I, the crazy thing is nobody ever, like, sold one to us. Yeah. The Solomons. It was weird. They like, It was, like, a weird drop. Yeah, but, I mean, his New Balance is still they're really good. Yeah, people love those joints. They're always in out. Even the first uh, set of Asics. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Yeah, those always sell. But this was kind of just like, all right. We'll just throw our branding that on. That other random GR way. that we had with the cream and the mint looks better than the John one. Yeah, those are really nice. The um, yeah, they the, were the saying that on. this this should have this looks like a collab pair, but it's not a collab pair. It kind of looks like the field trip first pair, the one that didn't come out, the the Bias or whatever. But yeah, but not a fan. Um, those I don't know about those. Yeah. They're just like a black like shoe kind of. It's like the black like Asics. Yeah, and then they have the green one too. I don't know, bro. Cheeks. Saw, you saw that they dropped the special package of the Wu-Tang Dunks? Oh, that's just nice. Yeah. What do you think of the Wu-Tang Dunks you need? Don't want? Don't care? I mean, I don't care. Like, if I could get one at retail, I'll buy it, but I'm not going to pay up for it. Like, it is where it is, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Have, I'm going to have to demon for that. Like, yo, demon, what's up? You got me, bro? <laughs> nah, the, uh, There's still more drops? Yeah. On the 9th is the official, official like, sneakers drop. Go. And then, um, yeah, I asked them to feed it, and they are getting them, too. Oh, I already, like, been, like, posting, like, the, like, the images. Yeah. Three? I Maybe think lower? so. 
three should be a, a respectable price for it being a dunk high. It's technically a, a pollen dunk. Even yeah. the color combo says pollen on it. Yeah. So it's like it the Jordan like the one. Pollen Jordan one more than the Iowa dunks or whatever yeah. they're called. The Golden Rods. Yeah. I don't know. Do I need it? Probably not. <laughs> Do I want it? Probably not. I'll take it if I get the call. I'm like, yo, need it. Yeah, if somebody makes it easy, like yeah. the homie send me a link and blah. Yeah, you, why not? Yes. But yeah. if I have like paying resale, nah. I was having a conversation about that with a customer, because he always asked me, he's like, "You probably take all the ten, ten and a half." And I was like, "No." I was just like, "We'll go into my closet. There's really <laughs> nothing in there. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's more clothes, and I hate getting rid of clothes. Like, I won't get rid of clothes. But um, sneakers, I don't really care. Like, as in like." As I don't have no attachment to it. Except yeah, they like come a couple and go. pairs. But I tell them, like, I usually, if I can't get it outside the store, I was like, the customer gets it first. Like, I think the, I took the medium olive, but that didn't even come through the store. It was like a trade I did with Leo. But yeah. same thing. It was just like, oh, I got it. Um, But yeah, I mean, what else is coming out to end the year? To end the year, what else do we have? Uh, there's there's, there's like not a, a shoe that's like, Oh, this is the Christmas shoe this year so far, right? Besides Legend Blues, but no, I Legend Cements. Blues. Oh, Black oh, Cements. Black Cements. Black Cements are actually really nice. I take it back. I was talking shit a couple episodes ago <laughs> on how yeah. they were shitty. They look terrible. Blah blah blah. Are they actually they, pretty good? They look better None. than the mints for sure. Calling them the mints was disrespectful. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they're better. They're better. They look nice on foot too. Yeah. They, so they definitely try shape. to get them at retail if you can. That's what I get. I'm just never gonna talk shit about shoes anymore. Still are. I still am. I don't give a fuck. Fucking um, these but shits. Uh, these shits come out. I don't even know when, bro. We've been seeing them for so long already, too. November. November. Well, this well, month. This month, bro. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I need a pair, but the the best fours ever. They'll be around. I'm sure we'll get an abundance of them. Yeah, same thing. But every size 10, 10 and a half, everybody's yeah. just like, oh, like you're gonna get a pair. I'm like, no, like customer can have it. Yeah. Just boom. Like I'll get I'll get it someday. You know. It'll yeah, they're around. gonna keep coming in. For sure. And then, um, yeah, other than that, I mean, I, I'm i actually curious. Are they doing a Christmas Kobe this year? The ninth, the ninth, the ninth's coming uh-huh, out. Nobody nasty. Wants, I don't want it. The, yeah, the, the all, red all, red, the all red one. Yeah, that's coming out. Damn. Yeah, see, if they even that, like, if they were going to do that, they should have just done it in a low version. Cause the lo- they did that with the Halos, which was weird, but I mean. We don't need both. This one. Yeah, you don't. You yeah, don't need we two don't need all both, bro. Like it's it's just real. Like all white ass shoes. Yeah, like that. That to me, that drop didn't make sense. Even though they reviewed those like uh, year Mamba Kobe's, the ones with like the weird snake over the Oh yeah, the, the snake five. around it. Bro, it was weird. It looked like no. I thought they were gonna do the old the year of the horse yeah. or whatever they were called. They should have dropped um yeah one of the the pro tros of that, but it's like they're trying new colorways, but they're not good. Like yeah, the one with the snake ones. going around it was it, it almost it, yeah. a little snake almost looks like an infinity sign, so it's, that's kind of cool. But other than that, it's like oh, I don't. Know. They should drop more like P colorways or even again like just better stories. Like not everything has to do with the snake. Like I get it, it was his name, but like bro. I mean, speaking of better P's, Devin Booker's playing in good P's, and we haven't gotten too much from his sneakers that are actually really good. Yeah, those uh, both the USC colorway and the the ones that were like the undefeated Kobe ones. Yeah, they're both really good. And then um, they're dropping another one, like a, a Halloween one. I don't know yeah. if you saw it. That was random. I seen that they confirmed the All Star one too. See, that one's really good just because it's like fun and everything. But yeah, the whole rollout of his sneaker has been super strange. Like, I feel like they've put more push even to like Jaw's new shoe than we've seen. What like? Yeah, Josh got a Josh Jaw got a lot of push. Yeah, because even when they introed it, they showed like five or six different colorways. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what politics it is, but it's weird. Like, because the book one is really good, and I feel like we're gonna get the book two soon and forget all about the one fast. I feel like with Jaw, I personally think he has a little bit more of a fan base, like with more the kids appeal. and stuff like yeah. that. Where that's why Nike's probably pushing that a little more. Yeah. Because, like, Booker, like, you know, Booker's sick. He's a really good player, but he's, not like, I feel like he's always kind of just, like... Been there. Been there or, mm-hmm. like, plateaued in a way. No, I know what you mean, where it's, like, like kind of how, like, it's not the same, but how LeBron's always in the news because yeah. he has that presence. Or even yeah. now, AE's always in the news because he has that yeah. presence where... With Booker, he's a little bit more chill, more laid back. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I forgot, I completely forgot that he was part of the gold, um, the gold medal team. 
fuck yeah yeah literally and I, the yeah. thing is that he had action he had a lot of play and we yeah. the, i think of tatum not getting action more than book yeah, getting action celtics got more push and then even just uh the gang going the ae hype like yeah. even he got more uh more play on that even that uh netflix thing that they dropped same thing like they focus more on them and it's kind of like damn like it does make you kind of overshadow book like all right well you're there you'll just be there you know it's funny seeing that and how like they develop stars and blah 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 uh, yeah. i was watching the vince mcmahon documentary bro, Yo, bro that shit is insane so that, shit was so crazy. Good. that shit is so good but yeah. just how like like when i got into wrestling hulk hogan to me was mid like, yeah oh, man, there's fucking hulk hogan <laughs> But now seeing that, I was like, Dan's fool is like the OG. Like, obviously he was the OG, but like he's like Vince McMahon's like right hand. Yeah. Like when even the way they like flip flopped him, like okay, you're the bad guy first, then you're the good guy, and then, and like, then how like versa. even uh, Hulk Hogan was just like, it wasn't me talking, it was Vince talking. Like he said that everything that he was doing was Vince's Vince's like, ideas. Yeah, script, yeah. character. And then it's <laughs> funny, like it's funny, like how raw that documentary is, and how he's like saying like, yo, like. The, when it gets to d WCW and how like they stole all the stars and they yeah. made a uh, fucking Hulk Hogan a heel, the bad guy and everything, and how like Vince is like, oh, I have to get it back, and then he started developing Stone Cold. I was just like, bro, he's literally like how people say like we give up the sauce for um, like store. Yeah, I was like, this was giving up the sauce for business. Like how mm -hmm. you have to like reinvent yourself, for like, sure. Do something new, always be in the news, like stuff like that. I was just like, damn, like. This, to me, I, I thought that was sick. Like where this, he's just pretty much talking about how he like, what f the, he would post about the like the good moments and the bad moments and talk about how mm -hmm. he like worked through it. And I was like, yeah, that's a good documentary. Yeah, always keeping himself fresh and like doing different things to keep the audience engaged and the, the consumer like wanting to come back and wanting more. Yeah, that was cool. That documentary, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's really good. It's a really, really, really good documentary. Yeah, yeah, no, and it's crazy that it was like filmed around the time that like that last thing happened to yeah. him. Because even, like, just his peoples, they all had his back through it all. Yeah, throughout yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. also is a testament. So when he got in trouble, this last one, where mm -hmm. he was sending the fucking girls. The all, crazy all texts that, and everything. All that so yeah. it was happy that that shit leaked while this documentary was being filmed. Mm -hmm. But in the film, it everybody in that film, everybody but Bret Hart have his back. Yeah. They all loved him. And like he, he still has his back, but he obviously he's pissed about what he did to him, about how he like took away his title and blah blah blah. And to me, that shit is crazy. Like, even the girl that sued him. Oh yeah, the one that they took away her title. Yeah, like she didn't want to give it up. Yeah, she came back and everything. Like, yeah, and then she went to WCW and fucking put the WWE title in the trash. Yeah, <laughs> it's sick. Jeez. It's a, yeah, it's worth a watch. Like, it, it's on Netflix. No, it's a, yeah. it, it starts slow because it's the slow. I mean, as in like how he got the business from his dad and blah blah blah. Like mm -hmm. that to me was like it was cool, but it wasn't like as entertaining. And then once you get to like the '80s, like '85 WrestleMania one, and then keep going, you're like, God damn, this is sick. Like, cause I just start thinking about remembering watching this and even like. When I would watch it in the late 90s, early 2000s, the flashbacks that they would show is all these flashbacks. And now they're mm -hmm. going into death of like all this shit. And I was just like, damn, this is sick. It's good. Yeah. Even the fact that like his family was involved in it, it all was like a trip too. Like they kept the family thing going. Because, yeah. Like his yeah. character was developed because w WWF to him was falling off. Yeah. So he developed Vince McMahon, like Mr. McMahon, the bad guy that was fought. It was part of developing Stone Cold Steve Austin, he said. Yeah. He's like, if it wasn't for, like, Mr. McMahon, Stone Cold, they, it wouldn't have worked. And now I think about how Stone Cold would stunner this fool in every episode. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, Come fuck, like, this was shit. all, like, he's, he, like, this was a genius, you know? He fucking too. scripted this. He's like, I'm going to develop a character that's an evil boss, and I'm going to fight Stone Cold, <laughs> and I'm going to tell him not to do this shit. And I'm like, yeah. I was like, bro, I was so tuned in. This shit is crazy. But yeah, no, there was that. That was cool. That that documentary is good. Watch it. Yeah. Especially if you really like wrestling. It's it's worth the watch. Not most definitely, cause yeah, I mean, wrestling wouldn't be what what it is today if it weren't for McMahon. No cap. But that is, <laughs> whatever. But yeah. But yeah. So going back to the point, now <laughs> seeing like how the NBA wants to go from <coughs> LeBron to <coughs> AE. I was like, bro, this is all the same thing. No, it, it really like, is. That's like how they went from Magic and Bird to Jordan. To Kobe. To Kobe, to fucking... Um, to LeBron. To LeBron, to like to everything. And I'm just like, damn, like... I was like, bro, this is, this is all scripted. 
No, for sure is. And I mean, I think the only thing like with now where I, I feel like they were trying to like push Jaw more before all that legal shit happened. Yeah. And now they're kind of like, oh, well, they see a has like a cleaner name and like because at the end of the day, they do care about all that type of stuff, too. Um, but yeah, they, they've been looking for that next person to um, give the reins to and who they see has potential to like win championships, blah, blah, blah. So. And they'll make it happen. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's part of the script. It's part of it, bro. <laughs> Chiefs undefeated. Even if you guess it. It's going to happen. It's, it's locked in, fuck. Is that a week two? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, bro. We'll see. I know. They're balling. <laughs> right, they're, se- they're seven or no? <laughs> they are. Somehow, some way, they're. And it's nobody, nobody's paying attention. Everybody's talking about how bad they're playing. And I'm like, how are you How are you playing bad in seven and no? And they're undefeated. <laughs> like, like, that shit makes no sense. Like, every, fuck, man, fuck Kelsey, too, bro. <laughs> he fucking, he this, went off yesterday. This finally, uh, yeah. <laughs> to finally decided to play against me. And I was like, bro, the whole year, four points, two points, three points on fantasy. Yesterday, almost 30. I was like, nah. Yeah, okay. he went off yesterday. I thought Njoku had my back, and then fucking Kelsey comes in and cooks him. I'm like, bro, come on. Fucking fantasy, bro. But yeah, no. I, I it, To me, the funniest thing is, like, they're playing so bad, and I'm just like, they're 7-0. Oh. There's only team that's undefeated. The Jets so. are playing bad. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah, yesterday was lucky the icing on the cake. Yeah, that's it. They're done. They're screwed. Yeah. Like, I, I, Yeah, they're, they're, they're bad, bro. I'm sorry, bro. My, my king, Aaron Rodgers, my king, <laughs> literally, like, one of my favorite players, that, probably my favorite player ever besides Brett Favre. Pack it up. Like, that That was, like, that was, uh, yeah, you're, you're done, king. Jordan love time. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's hurt, too. But no. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, it's, like, it's like seeing your idol just not be able to do it no more. I'm just like, damn, bro, Rodgers, don't do this to me. He should have just left, bro. Yeah, so he just retired. Backed that, it up after that. Yeah, after that, after that injury, I'd have been like, "Sorry, guys, fleece the offer some money." Yeah, bro. Yeah, but NFL, NBA, sports, go sports, <laughs> go sports. Um, what else? Let me Take see. A little break. One more. <laughs> oh, one thing. It was funny. I saw a good meme, and we we're talking about it. Dornbecker collection. It was. It was very underwhelming this year. Like, there wasn't a standout, like the Volmero. No disrespect. The best shoe was the the ones that they're auctioning off. The, like, the, the Jordan 20. Yeah, yeah the Jordan yeah. 20 was nice. But yeah. it, even that, like, I feel like it doesn't scream Dornbecker. It screams, like, regular 20. You get yeah, me? it looks more like a P. I know what yeah, you mean. Like where the P. box looks crazier than yeah. the actual shoe. The Pegasus 41 or whatever is probably my favorite pair because the most wearable pair. Yeah. But, and you, you could use it for function. But yeah, it wasn't there was it wasn't that great. The Sabrinas just feel like a P in a way. I know the kids are the ones that are designing, but I feel like with this collection they made it over the top that a kid, a kid designed yeah. it. You know it, what I mean? It, if that makes like, sense. It's like it should just be meant for grade school. Mm-hmm. Like that would that would be cool. Like keep it grade school. Mm-hmm. I saw somebody uh, make a reel, and I was like, "That's just fucked up." But it was funny. <laughs> it was like he shows the. A picture of the DB, uh-huh. but without the name DBs. It's like, oh, these new Sabrinas came out, and the guy's like, man, them shit suck. And then he's like, oh, well, they're actually DBs. Like, oh, they're kind of fire. Oh my god! And I'm just God. like, bro, I was like, that's so true. But I was just like, yeah, for the collection, b- besides the Pegasus, it would be nice. Obviously, Nike needs to make their money, but that to me is like a kids full locker yeah. collection. Like, give uh-huh. it for the kids. Just keep it GS, keep it fun yeah. for the kids. For kids to wear to school, for function to like run, yeah. play, blah blah. blah. Because yeah, those like the Vomero last year was it last year? Yeah, two years ago. The, last year? the orange and the yeah. See that one was really good. Even the Jordan one, that one was fun. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it, but I thought I was like, oh, the concept's cool. It was more wearable. Yeah, but th- yeah. this year was definitely like I would say a great school collection. Mm-hmm. Like it was like meant for kids. Obviously designed by kids, but you shouldn't. I feel like at that point, don't make it. Don't hurt your sales numbers by making it for adults. <laughs> And then blaming it on the consumer for not buying it. Yeah. You get me? It's like, like, I would, if if I walked in and saw Pegasus 41, I'd be like, oh, I'll buy it because I could use it for the gym, you know? Like, But other than that, not, re- not really for me. It's yeah. nice. But yeah. yeah. First look at the Jordan 1 breads, they're just 85, 85 cut, neutral gray, nothing special in my opinion. I don't know why they. I just eighty-five to cut. Raise the price. I don't know if you guys might agree with me. The eighty-five cut might be one of the most overrated cuts to come out because it was gassed so much, and I I thought the cut looked amazing, and then you wear it, and they fit like shit. 
in my opinion. They're very stiff. Very, very stiff. Yeah. So, they, they have like that bad like crease where it's yeah. like the line comes in like right away. And then even right here where the laces begin, it's very narrow and it, they just don't sit as well as a regular Jordan. Well, like what we think is a regular Jordan 1 now. Yeah. Um, but also, I don't know what the like reasoning is for them to up the price of it being 250 now. Yeah. Damn, wait, 250 yeah, now? Yeah, retail's supposed to be 250 now. Yeah, I mean, went from... Uh, regular now, which is still expensive, in my opinion, is the 190 for the regular cut Jordan 1. Not well, like a while, like a long time, a couple years back type shit. But even um, even the one lows, they used to be 100 bucks retail, and now they're 140. Yeah, so it's one of those things where um, I don't crazy. understand why they raise the price. Like it's it, it's just I feel like them taking advantage of people. Oh, it's a bright colorway. It's an OG colorway. Let me. See if we could throw that extra price on it and then fucking go from there. But Fender or retail? Uh, honestly, I'm going to say it's going to be around retail because unless they keep them limited, which I don't think they will. And they're going to I think they're going to pimp them out like they do all the other ones. Um, I don't see it going for more than 300. If I'm like just being honest, because I think also people forget that before um, the last dance came out, Jordans weren't as expensive as they were before there were still some colorways that were pricey obviously but the last stance inflated the price of everything that was an og colorway that jordan wore etc cetera, etc cetera. and like as we've seen this past year or so like everything's gone down so much uh even perfect example was somebody brought a band one from us like the first year we opened the tag on it was still on it he never wore it it was 800 bucks and we just priced it at 550 and uh, I just put out a used pair on Sunday that's clean, but it's used. It got all the glitter all over it, whatever, <coughs> 280 So it kind of just, if that's what those are going for, which some people that's might, same. you know what I mean? Like where some people might think that that's a better cut and a better color, <coughs> like better shade of red, whatever. Imagine what the new ones are going to go for. It's kind of like how we see with the, uh, the bread reimagined fours where not everybody's a fan of the leather one. So the 2019 still sell really well for us because people don't like the different cut or different change. You know what I mean? And they want it to be still wearable in their eyes. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting to see, to say the least. I don't know. You going to cop when they come out? Again, a retail. Yeah. I won't, I feel like nowadays it's just, it's just not worth playing like resell early for it. Cause it's like, Price always price always goes down eventually. Like yeah, I'm pretty sure like the Wu Tang they might be at three right now. Play, I feel like they might hit like two fifty. Yeah. By the time it actually like 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 drops, like everyone like pushing like hey, um, everybody's pressing the button. Like I have seen people like sell the pairs now for like four hundred bucks like early, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna drop down to like a lower price. No, for sure, and that's the thing too where we we always talk about also where bro like people are down to wait like nobody cares for the inflated price at the moment they'd rather just wait till it comes out or even wait to see if it goes on sale or even in our case where they'll wait for it to come in the store and it be like worn once and they get it for damn near half the price or whatever the case may be so yeah i think with the fact that retail so high it's gonna make resale not that high then yeah, shit's gonna sit i feel right? like with the breads the 250 breads. no that's all i was saying like bro like it's too high of a retail where it's it's kind of like you're cooking your own market before you even drop it 250 is like you're 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 nike that's, syndicate that's literally like, that's literally you know, like, like a resale you're, you're a resale store yeah. at this point. <laughs> i mean yeah. who knows but yeah 250 is outrageous like for retail because then like yeah people are gonna be like oh you're backing the reseller but it's like no like it uh, but we're backing the people that are some are trying to make money or trying to get return on it on investment they wear it a couple times like mm -hmm. like you're not gonna get return on that do you think it'll go on sale yes because everything goes on sale now i i honestly do believe that it's gonna be one of those shoes like perfect example the mm -hmm. amaniers like retailers had a trouble getting rid of them facts the Amanier 3s and 4s? The, 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 the last pack. The last two? Yeah, like, bro, like, people, like, literally have bugged me, like, hey, we have these in store. Come get them. And I'm just like, bro, I get them. I, like, not no disrespect. I get them chip, cheaper here, you know? Yeah. Like, if. No, even with um, the way they do the rollouts, like, for that collection, perfect example, Amanier sold them first, and it seemed like they had a boat ton of them because they were able to sell through however many and still not be sold out. So by the time all the other retailers get them, like everybody already had a chance to buy them, they don't need to buy them from the regular retailers no more. Yeah, at that point, that shoe should have just been Amanier only. Yeah. You know, 
Because, yeah, I mean, there's still shoes that people want, you know, like the Travis Medium Olive is doing great, you know, mm-hmm. solid. And again, retail isn't, what is it? Retail one, is one, 160. 160. After shipping everything, you're like at 190. Let's just say 200. Yeah. You come sell it here, you make 200 on top. Doubling your money. Do- doubling your money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, th- I feel like 160 is a fair price retail for a Jordan one. Yeah. Or even back, like pushing back the price of a one low, because one low, they upped it to 140, which used to be pretty much what right? a high used to retail for. Yeah, I, th- I think those 85s are going to sit. That's my yeah. opinion. Not what do yeah. you think about the Awake coming out, the blue ones? Same thing, bro. Just give us the red <laughs> one, bro. We, we didn't need them. Like. But at that point, that should have been. you should have had that one done. As like, as like a pack together. Yeah. Not a pack, as an FNF. That or too. you get, like, let's say when that, when you're doing the shoe, you do both, and you're going to do the red one, um, general release, and then the blue one available only at awake oh, new york yeah. um the flagship store so what you mean? Super, i think that's how that one's gonna be though but super limited like super yeah. limited like almost like a fnf but the like you know you, you get 200 pairs or something like that boom like keep it fun you know because at that point you that customer that's lining up at awake is gonna feel like oh damn the only one that's gonna have this shoe because yeah, uh, like i said that I'll, awake airship might be my favorite airship to come out material wise but same thing it's just like bro like We've sold pairs as low as 50 to 60 bucks here. Wow. I think it comes down to Damn. also when it comes to like stuff that's considered collab pairs, they shouldn't drop as many as they do for like a GR release to keep it feeling special and to make it feel more like, damn, like I got something that's not like everything else. You know what I mean? Because people like that feeling too, where it's yeah. just like, oh, like if I want to buy a GR, I'll just buy like OG colorway or something else that somebody else dropped. I won't buy the collab one where it kind of keeps that that feeling you know what i mean because when you see it and yeah it has a collab name on it but everybody has access to it it doesn't feel the same way that it does when you know you know oh shit they only released this many or this only drop here you know what i mean yeah like um i feel like now all these big companies are like oh it's not going to be successful if it's not a collab Mm -hmm. and they force collabs that it's like bro you just don't you like they're using collabs to sell gr colorways exactly or like like the, what I said in the last podcast, how like they said that the Jordan Court Low is a Team Jordan, <laughs> oh, but yeah. with a name behind it, and it's just like, yeah, mm. it's like how they introed the um, the RM as well. Yeah, they did the Nigel, and they're like here, GR. Yeah, seeing people already uh, dump in the the black cat version of those already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. full size run for like basically retail. They're coming up. They haven't even they come out have yet. Them. Yeah, they already have full size runs of them. No, no, no. no. It's like literally a black cat version of the uh, all black. Yeah, like and it's RM. probably gonna be that the shitty shape, not like the Nigel shape. Yeah, where it's just. just yeah. And that's another thing where they've shown that they can make the shoe with a better shape and better quality, but they. The green, the green yeah, one, yeah, because yeah, even one. the gray one is just a gr. Yeah, it's not made as well. The green one is actually sleeker, not as chubby. Like it's it, made well. It looks better on feet. Everything. But it's the, um, yeah, it's just showing, like, they could do it. They just don't want to do it or they're going to finesse us some other way. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, because I feel like they've, I don't know, like, everything has uh, comes and goes so fast. Yeah. Like, I feel like, for example, the Vistis, the Verdi ones, they're done, you know? Like, not done, but it's just like the the hype is just, like, came and went, you know, on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. Yeah, that, and I feel like everything is so, like, commercialized now that it's just, like, not really too special anymore. Yeah, yeah, the fact that everybody has access, and even with the internet now, like, everybody has information that before used to be tougher to get, where you have to wait for a magazine or, like, you have to actually go to the physical store to see it, and obviously with the internet now, like, that's not a thing. Yeah, you get you sh- you see shoes five six a year early sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it leaks too fast. Yeah, now. where I'm just like, bro. Yeah, you see stop. them. Stop. That preview, and then even people that get them early in hand. You get yeah, them like uh, Lonnie before. sent us the picture of those nasty Air Maxes with the big bubbles that we saw like two years ago almost. What are those? Uh, that collab pair? Or? <laughs> it's a GR, but the ones on where he's the guys on the the BMW. They look kind of like ons. <laughs> yeah, they look like it looks like an on cloud in yeah. a way. No, but no it cat. looks like if the on cloud had bubbles on the holes. Uh-huh. That's how it looks. Yeah, 
But it's just like when they showed it to us, they were like, you can't, like, they were like, don't take a picture of this. And I was just like, oh, shit, my bad, bro. <laughs> like, uh, to me, I was like, I was like, this shit's not that cool. Yeah. Huh? No, no, no. Like, no, well, the, when, when the, they came to, when they, they brought them in, like, a they brought, bag they brought in, like, to back. show us their preview. Yeah. And I was like, oh, these are nice. These, these are cool. And then they were like, they're like, oh, but this one. And they pulled it out. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And they were letting us take pictures of everything <laughs> else to kind of, like, look at it. Like, it was like Sunders. It was a bunch of stuff that came out this year. Yeah. But then when they pulled this fucking <laughs> on cloud monster, <laughs> they were like, no, 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 like, put that down. Like, because like, uh, the store, there was a couple customers and they're like, put it down. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, like, sorry. It's like, yeah, somebody saw Yeah, but it's just like, but when fucking everybody's selling Verdi seven months early, it's no big deal. No big deal that leaks, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was, uh, it's like they pick and choose, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, they come out random. No, and they would, they would, right? no, 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 and they wouldn't like, um, they wouldn't let you like record or anything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, bro. It's like it's like the homies that. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> but it's like the homies that are like, don't record me. Uh, I'm selling shoes that I got gifted. It's like, bro. Trust me, they don't care. Like they yeah. like they don't give a fuck no more. It's not 2012. Yeah. Like they know that they're paying your bills. You know, everything's like, getting sold. To be honest, everything's yeah. getting sold, bro. The the seller is selling the shoes. <laughs> you know, like straight up. Like again, I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. Like the. The whole of like, hey, like Nike's following me around with this barcode and blah blah blah. It's like, trust me, buddy, they're not. You know, like the technology is not deep on a. Shoe now box. they're looking for the people back doing the shoes. You know, those are the the, you know, they're trying to get stings like they did to my boy. You know, Bruh, that's crazy. Yeah. But list. it's just like shit like that. You know, like I don't know, bro. Uh, it, it's like it's not that serious and i feel like with nike it's not that serious no more unless you're actually stealing the pairs from them yeah um but yeah i i, I hate that whole paranoia because it's just like hey chill chill like they're yeah. they're almost getting mad at you and i'm just like hey bro you're the one that's coming to me you know like yeah, yeah it was crazy like before when people would try to ask us too like oh like you, you you guys don't have a back door we can meet you at or like oh can you meet me around the corner Yes, bro. They would ask for back doors. Oh, can I meet you around the corner? Like stuff like that. And it's just like, bro, like, I don't want the shoes that bad either. <laughs> you know what's also crazier? It's crazier, like how that yeah. happens, right? And yeah. they, they, and let's say the the small person gets in trouble, like yeah. the, the influencer and all that stuff. Yeah. But when the corporation is doing it back dooring and blah, blah blah, they're just like, eh, who cares? You know, no nobody cares. It, it's just it's it's so fucked, you know. But. It is what it is, you know? And that's why we never say who sold us the shoes. We ask you for your ID, and that's just for our protection, and that's about it. Yeah. You know? Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. But, like, if people are like, oh, where'd you get them from? Sometimes we will say, like, hey, bro, we got this shit straight from the source because the customer will ask 100 questions mm -hmm. because, unfortunately, people do sell fakes. Um, so they're, they've had a bad experience before, and when they come to us, they're just like, how do you know? And I was just like, bro, this shit came from... This, I'm not going to say, obviously, the person that it was, but I'm just going to be like, it came from somebody that got it straight from them. Yeah. And they feel a lot more comfortable. They're like, I right, bet. You know? Yeah, they used to happen a lot around, too, when, like, Supreme stuff, like, early stuff, like, I got in trouble for that a lot. Like, <laughs> like the, the CEO would, like, come in and, and just be, like, 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 he would, like, walk around and just, like, give me, like, the eye because he knew, it was, like, I know you're buying everything, but I just, like, I want to, like, who is the one that's, like, giving you everything? I'm just, like... Keeping it quiet, making sure everything's right. But yeah, that happens a lot. People do like come out to like look for you. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, I've been <laughs> fighting for the the resellers, not the bad guy thing for like years and years. From just like, bro, we actually do good for the community more than some, the bad, you know? Like some retailers. Well, some, you yeah. know, more, you know. But I feel like the way we stimulate the company is like Nike's not doing that. Like you know. Like Nike doesn't have a buyback program. They don't have a buyback program. If they do, it's shit, you know, like no disrespect. But it's just like, where else can you go? Like I said, with the T-shirt thing, like it's as it's basic as that. Like you can, we're, let's say we get the bread next year. The Well, we are going to get them, the breads. And we put them at 250 which is retail. This kid is going to look into his closet, get a $50 Supreme tea, come in here, get 50% discount. Well, $50 off the shoe already. Can't go do that at Foot Locker. You can't go do that at Kith. You know, like you can't do that anywhere else. Yeah. So, 
if anything, I always said it before, like, I was like, I would love to work with a big company like that. Give us a drop, you know, like, give us Red 85s, you know, again, it's never going to happen, but give us a release. I mean, they did, they did it with the, what the ducks. It's like, yeah. but again, they pick and choose. It's a fucking, but like, let's say we do a drop of 85 breads. We get a hundred pairs allocated to us. Kids could come in, trade their old shoes for them. They're probably going to sell really well. They're going to sell better than if you have to go pay 283 with tax at a retailer, you know? And you have all the kids wearing the newest shoe, which is what you want. Exactly. So it's a win-win. So I feel like yeah. that's why the buy-sell trade concept works a lot. And I will stand behind it because technically sometimes it's better than the retailer. Sometimes, obviously, because we don't get on, we don't get a drop. Oh, my bad. But we'll get, I always tell people, I'm like, bro, just wait two weeks till online orders. And that's one thing that helps our customer and we give up the sauce like that too where we're like hey bro if you don't don't buy it right now just wait two weeks wait three weeks you know like i i feel bad selling shoes early and sometimes we have to be for instagram and stuff like that but in reality you could just wait a bit you know yeah nothing nothing isn't accessible at this point to where if you're patient you could get it for the best price yeah like right now i tell people the a good shoe to buy because they got pushed back is the black toe reimagine Facts. you could find them for 250 200 220 if you really look for them that's a good shoe to have because it's not going to come out till next year now so well made classic well, jordan well made, one colorway you could wear it every day classic colorway it's nice yeah i feel like the threes are going to be good too they're going to sell well yeah the white cements in and out that one should do justice solid once people get them in hand but yeah i feel like uh, i was telling one of my homies w with linen so i was just like if if Nike, for some reason, blessed us with two to 300 pairs of linens, I promise you that we would have sold through all the pairs fast because of the the the, ba the fact that you can know that you could come in and get a trade or, like, a small discount on it because you have a T-shirt or an old shoe. Like, everybody always trips out, like, homies that I have in Nike, how we sell the Lunar Lawn like crazy. Bro. Like, they, they always ask me how, and I was like, because we it's a nice shoe. We gas it up. And it's not we gas it up because we, we just like it, you know? Like yeah, Loki. Everybody in here has worn it. Yeah, like that's what yeah, I'm same. saying. Like, it's, but it's, it's just like it's cool. they always ask. They're like, "How the? Why do you keep buying them?" I was like, "Cause they keep selling." You know, like, <laughs> and also we're not pricing them too high. They're eighty to a hundred pre-owned, and then one like one fifty the highest essentially. But yeah, again, yeah. sometimes they're not selling at full price. They're selling at like, "Hey, I have sixty store credit here. Can I use it towards this?" Blah blah. And I'm just like, "Bet." You know, easy done. So the whole thing about saving money in a terrible economy, you know, makes sense. Yeah, it does. It's literally just giving people other ways to still be able to get new cool shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all about recycling. Yeah. And I think that's the best part. It's like when you're done with the old, instead of having it sit there, just take it somewhere. You know, like same thing. Like Matt said that he did that with Luke, that he, had, he has this like storage and he had a ton of like random like YSL pieces and stuff like that. that literally were just rotting away. He went to Luke, and I think Luke offered him the low, but it's like, it's better. He literally said it's better than fucking rotting in my storage, you know? Like, yeah, it's true. But he was just like, he paid me fair for what it was, you know? It's like 2014 YSL. It's like, nobody really is going to buy that. Yeah. Yeah. It's the things that people that don't think about when, um, with stores like ours, where, or even Luke's, where it's like, bro, like, you're giving people a chance to, off something, you, even with stuff like that, you never know what that could do for that person. That's getting right that little extra pocket change, whatever, and then keep putting it into something else. It's just other ways of stimulating the economy. So, yeah. Food I mean, for thought. What else is coming out? <laughs> That's Bro. it. Uh, I mean, there's more stuff coming out, but I don't know. I've seen those black uh, toe 14s. Everybody's fucking, um, all the early pairs are starting to show up. I don't even know what the actual release date is. Nice classic colorway, but it's a Jordan 14, so it's not going to be like, oh my God. You're going to go for like those. 200. Yeah. They're doing, I don't know if you saw that, Jordan. It's like a woman's basketball shoe. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. It doesn't look bad. It looks like a basketball shoe, yeah. but I don't, I don't know what the difference is of calling it like a woman's basketball shoe as opposed to it just being like... A basketball shoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like, obviously, they're trying to cater to the WNBA. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Sabrina shoe, I think, was a hit. Mm -hmm. I think the Caitlyn shoe will probably be a hit just because she has a big fan base. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just depends. You just got to have your Jordan athletes wear them and make them look cool, you know? Yeah, give them to the right people and then them actually be wearable. And obviously, also, it'd be a good shoe. 
Yeah. See, yeah. yeah see if it's a good shoe because there is Jordan basketball shoes that I know people wear still to this day, like the 35. Um, where like I'm like, why are you still wearing them? And they're like, it's because this is actually a really good hoop shoe. Yeah. Like they and they really like it. I yeah. think it's the 35. I think so. I don't know. I lost count, but I know there's one. Uh, who Rui still wears his. Oh, where? Tomorrow? Yeah, he oh, still shit. wears his. Wh- I, whatever, whatever model that is, I, I'm gonna say it's a 35, but I could be. I'm, I'm probably obviously wrong. The one with the little circle on the side and like the big tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that he did for the eights. Yeah. That he did. Yeah. So people really do like that model. I think Fragment did their own too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they did like a Loki a lot of collab colorways yeah, for that. Yeah. So although yeah. that shoe supposedly is like really, really good for hoops. Yeah, and that's the thing too, where like stuff like that, where people forget like that the newest one is supposed to be like the best technology and. But they also have to look cool, you know what I mean? Because people don't want to just put whatever. Yeah, I feel on their like feet. after the twenty three, they stopped trying with like the yeah. the rollouts. Yeah, because that whole um like the thirty number is it's still it's, going on. It's going on, but they like restarted in the sense of like, oh, the thirty one's inspired by the Jordan one, the thirty five yeah. is inspired yeah, by the that, Jordan yeah. five. Where instead of like just making it its own thing, where it's like, I see what you guys are trying to do. Like you're trying to bring the old in with the new, but it's also like. We're in the new, so yeah. like, it could be its own thing. It doesn't have to be, oh, this one is supposed to be like this one, you know? Yeah, because every year till the 23, I look forward to the newest Jordan just to yeah. see it. Sometimes, obviously, they didn't cop it, yeah. but I think the last one I copped was the the 20, Yeah, like when it came out. But I, I just remember seeing the rollouts, and it was always a big thing because it was around All-Star Weekend and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And now it's just like they kind of just like, eh. Nobody even knows or cares when the new, newest, like, number Jordan comes out. Yeah, and it's just yeah. so, like it's so hard to keep up because again they're just on to the next on to the next where it's almost like the iphone where it's just like every year you're gonna get a new one yeah i seen that they were gonna stop though yeah i i think it's, i'm assuming this last drop didn't do that great yeah. but it's also like bro you change one little thing and call it a brand new phone yeah where, it's just like just update the phone yeah or it's like bro it's true <laughs> It's like, yeah, that's how I feel about like video games and stuff like that. It's like, bro, stop making buy a new and just do an update. Maybe do a twenty yeah. twenty dollar charge and I'll like do a DLC pack. They yeah, do it with the, like so many different games, so it makes sense. Where like, oh shit, the new Madden came out. It's yeah. a DLC. I, 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 I'm in like in my year three in Madden. <laughs> I've been playing that shit. Yeah, I lost two Super Bowls already. GG. Doc. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to my Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, people that don't know when you play NCAA, the Road uh. to Glory, you could transfer your NFL player. That's cool. College your college player into Madden, and Thanks. I got drafted by the Giants. Got Malik Neighbors. That's oh what I was so high on him. <laughs> my <Yeah>. first year, <laughs> bro. I said, I'm telling you, bro. Malik Neighbors <laughs> is meant to be good. Uh, whatever. So I'm the quarterback, and I'm in year three now. And I think I lost back to back Super Bowls. Damn, pain. What a loser. Oh no, 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 no. I lost my first year. I lost in the Super Bowl to the Ravens. So maybe the Ravens will win this year. Uh, my <laughs> next year, I lost in the playoffs to the fucking Cowboys. Paint. But I'm playing all Madden, so it's like low key hard. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going into my third year. Yeah. So, but that that to me that's cool. It, it's entertaining because like they make they let you do like uh, interviews and all that stuff. It's like very like it's yeah, very like real. Re- real life. Yeah. So I I, I I just finished the preseason for my year three. That's what I'd be doing when I'm home playing wow. video games. I just downloaded Call of Duty. Shout out to homie for blessing the code. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I lost. I I died like ninety times. Wow, I I can't get into the Call of Duty. Bro, I guess shit is hard. It's it's it is. I don't know why. My brother's really good. My, yeah. my little well, both of my little brothers are really really fucking good. I sent uh, Hudson my brother's stats, yeah. and he's like, "How, bro? The game's been out for like two hours." And yeah, my little brother, bro. I think he had like hundred and twenty kills. Shit, he's locked in. Yeah, but he my yeah. uh, supposedly my little brother. I don't know how true it is. Uh-huh. He's like one of the best players. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't really keep up, but like they tell me that he's like one of the best ma- uh, call COD players in general. Yeah, I used to have a homie. He was top fifty player in the U.S. Yeah. And I was oh. just like, bro, what the fuck? But he had like the crazy setup. Yeah, like, these sitting on too. the desktop, yeah, like locked the hell in, like just. Nah, like, I, I'm just playing in the regular setup. <laughs> yeah. I'm, pro- I'm getting sniped left and right. And you get killed by them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I, I'd be going full force. I see somebody, I just start shooting. <laughs> Yeah, I think I had like two kills, and I was I when I got my first kill, I went crazy. And then <laughs> after that, I was just like, "Damn, I suck at this game." But it was free, so I can't be mad. Free greater. Uh, yeah, but I mean, another thing that happened this week that kind of sucked was uh, the passing of Clark Kent. Yeah, um, man. Rest in peace, the goat, shoe pioneer, DJ, amazing DJ. But Good human. 
yeah, good human, always nice. When anytime I saw him in New York, he was always like stand out. Really yeah. good dude. Yeah. Crazy thing is the way I found out about him was all the old uh the shoe game videos. Yeah. When he used to the, do the, the ATF. ATF videos with Greg Street, Mayor yeah. and All Day. Funny enough that me and All Day ended up becoming really good friends and I just remember seeing him in these videos. Yeah, man. But yeah, but Greg uh, uh, Greg Street too I met him a couple times Mayor we met him a couple times too through round two but Clark Kent was always around and yeah. I feel like he was always involved too like with yeah. both sneakers and just like the in community general. as a whole like he always was tapped in doing different things still doing collabs with people and like just genuinely good dude yeah, yeah. he was a he was a standout dude he was a good human being yeah you don't really say that for a lot of people but he was really nice um yeah, every time that he would come into round two, mad nice, mad respectful. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that he was coming with a purpose. It was just like he was in the area. He liked mm -hmm. shoes. He was yeah. a sneakerhead. Yeah, he would yeah. come with his son. His son would come look around and everything, too. Same thing. Good yeah. dude. Yeah, shout out Clark Kent. Yeah. Condo uh, cancer. I think he was, think he was yeah. sick. Yeah. yeah, colon cancer. Yeah, yeah and that's another thing, too, bro. He was fighting it for three years. and I Nobody mean, knew. Nobody yeah. knew. He just, you know, kept his spirits high. You see him smile on his face. Yeah, because he was still yeah. doing everything. He was yeah. still working. Still working, yeah. doing he had just done. He had just done his last Nike Air Force. Um, yeah. Yeah, Crazy. Man. So. But yeah. Take care, guys. Same. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.